Okay folks, welcome back to Jack's Tech Corner. This is Photoshop Element 6 and this is part 2 of our creating a web gallery. Now once you create a web gallery, you have to have some place that you can actually put the web gallery. And what I simply mean by that is we have to have a web hosting or a web server somewhere that we can upload those files to that we just created. I happen to use oneinone.com. I've been using one and one now for I, I, just about two years. Uh, the prices are phenomenal on one and one, and um, unfortunately, I don't get any advertising dollars from one and one. And um, of course, I really haven't approached them on it either. So I just wanted to mention that it is there. There's a lot of hosting services out there you can go with. This is just the one I happen to use. So how now? How now? I'm sorry. So how do we take these files and get them up to our web hosting service? Well, we use a program called an FTP program, which is File Transfer Protocol. It's one of the older protocols on the internet. It's been used uh, uh, you know, for quite some time. It's the way we move web pages back and forth. So let's go ahead and we're gonna connect. And once you sign up for any service, you'll find out about their FTP and get your username and password. I'm going to go ahead and connect to my oneinone.com. Then over here we have all my folders for one and one. So we're going to go to Jack's Tech Corner. And as soon as I figure out which one it was, Tech Corner. And then what we're going to do under here is we're going to create a folder. Just pretty much like your folder, but it's, it's a directory or a folder and we're going to call it gallery so we're going to create a folder called gallery and it's right here and inside this folder once we get in there we're going to go ahead and create another directory inside of gallery and we're going to call it cook forest Notice to run it all together because websites, when we bring this up, we're going to run this all together. And so we have to have that folder name, lowercase, and all together. Now that we have Cook Forest opened up, we're going to go ahead now and we're going to open up our folder that our web gallery is created into. some reason it doesn't want to open correctly. Let me try to go into my computer and see if I can do it from here. What you're going to do is you want to take all these files and we're going to upload them to that Cook Forest. So I should be able to, hopefully this will work, I'm going to pull it right on top of that Cook Forest. So one way or the other you can get these files. You have to upload these files. And you notice I just did a drag and drop. And now they're uploading. If you see down here on the bottom of the green bars and if you look up here on top you'll see all the activity going on that's uploading all those files up to my web server so now if you want to view that web page that you just created what you would do is go to your website so here we're going to go to jackstechcorner.com slash gallery slash cook forest let's bring up a web, a web browser and see if this works Jacks Tech Corner dot com, then a slash because these are now subdirectories. Is gallery slash Cook Forest. Then hit the enter key, and hopefully this will work out for us. And there you go. There's our pictures that we just created. We created the web gallery, uploaded them, and now we can actually click through these and we can see the different pictures that I've uh, taken at Cook Forest. These are actually up around the Kinzu Dam. Go back and forth. I think that's one my daughter took out of the backseat of the car. She was just shooting away. 
And again, we can spin back back around. It's very nice. You see, it's it's sort of like a flash application that loads, but uh, works very nice. There's some pictures, another picture, and the last one. So that's it, folks. It's very easy. If you want to see this, I'm going to leave this demo album up. Go to Jack's Tech Corner dot com slash gallery slash cook forest well i hope you've enjoyed this video tutorial on how to upload your web gallery to a web hosting service it's very easy to do it's very straightforward and once again tracy thank you very much for the email question the email questions out there is what actually helps to motivate the show and let me know what you folks want to see or, or learn more about. And if you want to email me, the easiest way is on YouTube. If you happen to be on YouTube videos, just uh, first of all, please subscribe to the YouTube videos. It's great to see the subscriptions going up. And then you can just click on a, a link there and actually email me um, and send, or send comments in. Let me know what you're looking for. Or email me at jackstechcorner at gmail.com. Okay, folks, until the next video, take care. I hope you enjoyed this two-part series, and I'll see you back here very soon. So long for now.